Good morning. It's Friday before Memorial Day weekend and I uh, have another really interesting story. I read about this one years ago. So it's 1977. There's uh, this guy, he's a student at, almost got run over by a rabbit. He's a student at the Air Force Academy and he's in his bunk and he's just reading uh, about a, uh, a battle in World War II. And the battle that he's reading about, there's this private in the Army, United States Army, and this private takes it upon himself. He wasn't ordered to do this. He saw the opportunity and, and uh, jumped on it. And this private, Bill Crawford, attacks a German machine gun position. He crawls up, he chucks a couple of grenades in, and he knocks out this machine gun position. Well, he immediately waves to his, uh, his fellow soldiers, lets them know that it's safe for them to advance, and while they're advancing to his position, he attacks a second gun position, and he kills all the Germans, and he takes that position. And as soon as he's done with that one, he attacks a third position, and he takes that one out. And it's allowing his fellow soldiers to advance. They're in Italy, and they're uh, attacking the Germans, headed towards Berlin. And what's really wild is his, sol his fellow soldiers now think he is killed. They don't know where he is, and they presume he's dead. So they submit the uh, battle to their superiors. It goes up the chain of command, and Bill Crawford is awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. And so the student, 1977, Air Force Academy, is reading about this, and he says to his classmate, his roommate, he's like, I think our janitor, Bill Crawford, is a recipient of the Medal of Honor. And his roommate's like, no, not Bill. He's such a quiet guy, it can't be him. So they go out and they find the janitor, Bill Crawford, and they ask him, hey Bill, we were reading these uh, after action reports about a battle in World War II in Italy where a soldier, Bill Crawford, attacked these German gun positions and took out three gun placements and was awarded the Medal of Honor. And man, it sounds just like you. Was that you? And their janitor, Bill Crawford, says, yeah, that was me. So that's where the story, it doesn't end there. That's where it's pretty bizarre, but it continues. So it turns out what happened was when Bill Crawford attacked these three gun positions, he was captured right after that by the Germans and put in a prisoner of war camp and presumed dead. So his father, Bill Crawford's father, was recipient of the Medal of Honor posthumously. Yeah, I can't say that word all of a sudden. And it was presumed that Bill was dead. Well, he wasn't dead. And then he was in a prisoner of war camp in Germany. Well, fast forward, Bill Crawford comes back. No one ever gives him the Medal of Honor. And every re recipient of the Medal of Honor, the President of the United States, presents it. Well, Bill never received it. His father did. He never made a big deal out of it because he was just a very mild-mannered guy. When he was, uh, when he got out of the prisoner of war camp, he stayed in the army, stayed in for 30 years, and achieved the highest rank you can achieve as a uh, enlisted soldier, as a master sergeant. So now he's a janitor at the Air Force Academy never received, formally received, the Medal of Honor. So in 1984, then President Ronald Reagan 
presents Bill Crawford 40 years later with action that took place in 1943 with the Medal of Honor. There's a video that you can watch, I've watched it before, and it shows President Reagan presenting the Medal of Honor to Bill Crawford, and what really struck me is there's all these dignitaries up on the stage, Air Force generals, and I think they announced a senator or two, and Bill Crawford, you can see him in the back row smiling the whole time. He comes forward, receives the award, thanks the president, and goes back to the back row and sits down. Just an amazing story. So this Memorial Day, think about all the amazing stories that are out there and uh, the amazing country that we live in. I was uh, received a message yesterday from someone saying, you know, it looks like you uh, uh, had a great story there and you live in a really nice area. And he said, we have a lot of freedom and we have a lot to be grateful for. So I think about that quite often, not every day, but quite often. And uh, I hope you enjoy this holiday weekend and think about all the men and women that have fought for our country and allow us the luxury and the freedom that we have. Thanks again. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.